I want to bring your attention to two excellent YouTubers. They have very different styles, cover very different topics. First up is Goddard's Journal. Goddard is a published researcher, and his channel is focused on finding a balanced middle ground in radiation health concerns that is well supported by science. His background research is meticulous and thorough, and during his investigation, he found evidence of fraud, misconduct, and misreporting in a predatory journal that was reported as simple fact by the news media. Here's a clip. Several studies suggest that fallout from the nuclear disaster in Fukushima, Japan, has harmed and killed thousands of people in the United States. Those studies were authored by the longtime anti nuclear activists Joseph Mangano and Janet Sherman. Mangano and Sherman's studies have promoted much concern and fear in the United States. A potential danger in San Diego two years later. The nuclear disaster in Fukushima, Japan, may be affecting the health of young children. A new report says there may have been hidden dangers in our air. Soon after the nuclear meltdown in Japan, we, we should take this very seriously. Joseph Mangano heads the New York based research group Radiation and Public Health Project. In a study of states in the West Coast and in the Pacific, infants born soon after the nuclear disaster were 28% more likely to develop congenital hypothyroidism, which can lead to stunted growth. In California, that number jumped to 39%. It's a little scary. While some San Diego Skeptical of their claims, several independent researchers and I set out to replicate their findings using the same data sources. However, in each case we found absolutely no correlation between Fukushima fallout and the alleged harms. Moreover, in our communications with public health officials overseeing the data in question, we discovered that Mangano and Sherman base their conclusions on erroneous definitions that render their dire conclusions false. Next up is Cool Hard Logic, CHL. His style is much more ponage of pseudoscience, but along the way he makes compelling and educational videos that are a lot of fun to watch. He's taken on homeopathy and geocentrism, New Agers and doomsday cults. Here's a clip. In this video, we'll be looking at homeopathy. The notion that if you dilute pure horse shit a hundred times, people will still buy it. And they do. The origins of homeopathy are perhaps understandable. In the 18th century, medicine relied on basic methods such as bloodletting and complex concoctions. Frankly, it was crap. But treatment was as likely to make you worse or kill you as it was to do anything else. Medicine of the time was clearly pre-scientific with a key aspect being the idea of balancing the four humours of the body – phlegm, blood, black bile and yellow bile. Q. Samuel Hahnemann, who rejected giving people bizarre brews. He proposed giving people a single substance at low doses – noble sounding stuff. Unfortunately, that's as good as it got. Whilst translating a treatise of William Cullen's into German, he duly applied a useful tool – scepticism. He doubted the idea that cinchona bark could be used to treat malaria. Cinchona bark contains quinine, which is an anti-malarial, though not for any reason that gives any credence to homeopathy, and it is no longer used as a primary treatment. Hahnemann ate some of the bark and suffered fever, shivering and joint pain. He had given himself cinchoism due to an overdose of quinine, and thinking that these symptoms were similar to malaria, decided that an effective treatment causes symptoms similar to the ailment it is to treat. I hope you'll check these YouTubers out. Subscribe if you like, and tell them Concordance sent you. Thanks for watching.